right now and I am on a day off oh my god yay and I actually have things planned today it's a really lovely autumn day the leaves are nice and orange so is my hair I'm gonna do my makeup now by the way yeah I've just got a couple of things to do like in town I need to go to the bank to deposit a lot of money as you probably know i work as a barista and so we get a lot of tips i've just saved up a lot i want to put it all into the bank today so i can put it into my savings i also just feel like really unsafe having that amount of money just like lying around my house and then we're flying tomorrow to liverpool <laughs> yay so i want to buy an outfit because we're going out out because clubs are open in england i've realized i don't really have any going out tops i do have a few but i literally wear only those few so it's just really boring and yeah i want something a bit more fun and i also want to buy a new pair of light blue jeans all of the ones that i have are like second hand and they just don't fit properly as much as i want them to fit me properly because they're second hand they just don't some of them are men's jeans and so there's just like way too much crotch material <laughs> i want to get some women's jeans i'd much prefer to buy first hand if it's something that's definitely gonna last years that's the plan i'll probably get some lunch as well in town and then after that i really want to go to ikea because it was my birthday a couple weeks ago and my mum got me some silk pillowcases because apparently it helps with keeping your hair not frizzy and also it helps with your skin i need to buy two more pillows to actually put the cases on and yeah i just want to get the same ones that i've got now which are from ikea plus i got an email from ikea yesterday saying that they have the ikea tote bag back in stock you know the one that was all over tiktok literally went out of stock in the whole of europe well it's back in stock only in Belfast, nowhere else in the UK, which is crazy. But yeah, and then after that, I'm just going to come home, do some editing, work out, I don't know, just like a normal day. I'm going to finish my makeup now and then we're gonna walk into town. Tides came, did not flee The East spoke the same, had the same dreams Same pain and same feelings Staring at the sea And what was left of me
I'm home and that means it's haul time. Guys, I spent like all my money. <laughs> I put all of my tip money into my bank and pretty much spent it all. I should not be allowed to use my money when I'm on my period. I just think I'm really sad and uncomfortable. Let me buy something. <laughs> oh god. The good thing is I did actually come out with the things that I needed as well as a couple other things. Okay, so let's start with Pull and Bear. I do try and stick to only buying secondhand clothes, but like I said earlier, jeans are really hard to come by. I just thought I'll go into a high street shop and just try on something and i'm so glad i did because these jeans are amazing i got two pairs of jeans so the first pair are the regular style which are kind of like a dad jean i guess like loose fitting mid blue denim they're really long and like frayed at the ends i tried them on in the light blue color as well and they were really nice but yeah love this color the second pair i got the exact same color but these are boot cut in size 12 as well so these are just like a bit tighter up the top and then kind of flare out at the end i don't like skinny jeans really i don't like the feel of them and i don't really like the look of them but boot cut i'm okay with and i feel like they will last me quite a while this is the top that I bought to go out in this weekend in Liverpool. Very me, isn't it? Mesh green with bits of like burnt orange in to match my hair, <gasps> yay. And then I'll just wear like a bra underneath it, I think. I also got this knit sweater in a lovely olive green color. This was the last knit size, so I feel like it was meant to be. It fits me perfectly. It's so soft. Obviously it's getting colder, so this will be perfect. And then another green thing because I have an issue. I got a green hoodie i don't know what it is but ever since i got this hoodie from um ever since i got this hoodie from a second hand shop i just want more hoodies they're just way comfier than like sweaters and i like having the hood sticking out of a jacket so yeah i got this forest green color so that's everything that i got from pull and bear next i went to urban outfitters which i didn't think i would ever shop at again just because of like fast fashion i do think because the majority of the time i literally only buy second hand or not at all i really don't buy that many clothes i'm like allowing myself to buy these three things so let's start off with a t-shirt because i only really have white and black t-shirts which is very boring so i got this which is like a wolf howling to the moon <laughs> It's very oversized. I did ask if they had a smaller size, but they literally don't make it in a smaller size. But I really like this color. It's kind of purple, but also blue at the same time. I'm just happy to have a t-shirt that isn't white or black. Fluff all over me. And I'll show you why there's fluff all over me. It is because I bought this fleece. Is this not really cute? It reminds me of the Patagonia gilet fleece, which I've been looking for all over Depop. Can't find it anywhere. So I was like, fuck it, I'll get this. It's a jacket that will keep me warm, but not make me overheat. And then last but not least for clothes. <gasps> This is the cutest thing ever. And I've wanted one for so long, but I've always been like too scared to buy one. It is this. Oh, and the color's just so nice. It's not even a dress, it's a play suit. Look, it's like little shorts, but it looks like a dress. Yeah, it's really like feminine and lacy and just perfect for this time of year. I don't really like wearing dresses. So the fact that it is a play suit, perfect for me. I'm really happy with it. I think all of these things I'm going to wear for years to come. Oh, also very, very randomly, I went into Accessorize. God, haven't been in there since I was about 11 years old. And I got some hair clips. The bobby pins that I use right now kind of rip my hair and just snap it. So I wanted to get some actual clips. And these ones are actually really cute. And then, of course, I went to Waterstones and bought some books because I have a problem. Oh my God, I've literally got a stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 books, but I still went and bought three new books. <sighs> Someone stop me, please. Okay, so first off, I got the sequel to Six of Crows. Uh, this is Crooked Kingdom. I read Six of Crows like two weeks ago, 
amazing loved it so i had to get the second one i didn't really realize when i started six of crows that that wasn't the first book in the grishaverse but i got shadow and bone because this is the first book in the grishaverse and of course everyone's always talking about this it's on netflix it's all over tiktok everywhere so yeah i got this buy one get one half price as well so amazing and also i was trying to find volume two of the paper girls series but they didn't have it but whilst i was in the graphic novel section i found this saga which is literally the only other graphic novel that i've heard loads about so i was like fuck it let's try this the girl who was scanning my items was like oh my god this is amazing you're gonna love it so i'm very excited that is everything that i bought today i lied that wasn't the last thing that i bought i bought another book because i went to an independent bookshop on botanic avenue it's my favorite little bookshop it's called no alibis i went in because they've recently got loads of tote bags which have like their own little designs on them and i was going to buy one then i thought coco you're gonna get the ikea tote bag so you don't need another one but when i was in the shop i just felt guilty about leaving without buying anything so i looked for a book and i found this one it's called tennis lessons and it's just like a coming of age story it seems really like raw and real unlike a lot of the ya books that i read i'll read you the blurb on the back from schoolgirl cruelties and enduring friendships to dysfunctional parents and the bewilderment of sexual awakening tennis lessons navigates the torturous and spectacular journey to adulthood with warmth wit and startling insight i mean that just sounds great doesn't it and also the lovely lovely man who owns the shop he gave me a student discount even though i'm not a student <laughs> i was putting all of my pound coins on the desk and he just like scooted one back over to me and was like keep it that's again one of the reasons why i always go back in there because they're so so nice they also have great books which i would never find anywhere else so yes i'm so excited to read this oh my it's okay coco you're allowed to spend money on yourself it is okay i genuinely have to tell myself that because i feel guilty for spending my own money where did that come from i don't know i just bought loads of things and now i'm going to buy even more things because we're going to ikea let's go someone has literally stolen my wing mirror you know i was having a really good day someone's gone and s literally stolen the mirror so now i'm gonna have to go to the volkswagen like dealership because they also do like repairs and spare parts so i'm gonna have to do that now because i can't drive without a fucking wing mirror and then hopefully we have enough time to go to ikea i really hope so because this person's just like fucking ruined my day then <laughs> guys i've ordered in a new mirror because they don't have any in stock it's not gonna be safe for me to drive to ikea no it's probably a sign isn't it that i've spent too much money today and the universe is saying coco stop like this is so typical right okay um but yeah i guess i'm gonna go home now because i can't go to ikea you know what we'll have a really nice evening so it's okay not all is lost it's just begun. 